guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we're actually checking out the first ever Halloween party at Dreamworld on the Gold Coast. Wow, that was a mouthful of saying. Either way, let's get inside and see how it all goes, okay? Guys, just got in. First thing we noticed was actually the merch, not merch, food. I'll quickly show it to you guys and then I'll head around because I'm over here with some people and they're going to continue moving, okay? Quickly turn around. Alright, so, you going to focus? Quick overview of the different food options available here as well as the pricing. Come on, John. Okay, but I've got to keep moving. I'll check these guys when I can. See if we can find some treat trails, anything else that's exclusive for this event, and so much more. I'm kind of excited. Never done this before. Like I said, this is actually the first one that Dreamworks try to host, and we'll see how it goes, okay? Okay, guys, I'll give you a quick overview as you go past. Wow, is this blue? I think it's the lighting, actually, unfortunately. But in here, can we focus? No. But there it is. Is actually the ball sort of area, like play ground things. The whole area in here is actually been themed to rework. So we've finally got Shrek, Madagascar. So what else we can find when we go around? But yeah, that's the sort of kind of concept and theme we've got in here. It's interesting what else we can find. We've actually got a massive line here, which could be for carousel, but it's definitely feeling like it's for a treat trail. I actually unfortunately forgot to grab a map. So I'm not 100% sure where the treat trails are. So that's not cool. Also, because the dead cat, I can't see myself. So hopefully this is all lit enough for you guys. But the G7 is usually pretty decent in low light. So I'm not thinking that's going to be a problem. Okay. I'm going to put you guys away for a second, try to figure out where we're going and what we're doing, and then touch base again, okay? Okay, we're going to enter into Tiger Island now. Sorry, guys. Oh, but this area is completely changed from last time I was here. Actually, links down below to the last time I came was about a year and a half ago during the um, Commonwealth Games. See what it is? And apparently there's actually a special tiger like show during the Halloween event. So hopefully to check that out. If you guys if I can but until then keep moving. Can I show you off? Well, kind of got quite bright in here. All the different sort of exclusive tiger merch for Tiger Island. Whole half over here as well. Keep walking out the back. Little restaurant, quick service. Okay, we're back in the DreamWorks area. Kind of got turned around. We're trying to find this limited edition black and orange burger. I will show it to you guys if I actually am able to find it. But yeah, so far it's even a bit complicated. There's some of the bumper cars in there. Hopefully you can check those out. But it's very crowded, so I probably should stop talking to you guys. Okay, to the plans. We're going to go on an attraction first, tail spin, which is kind of like a swinging ride where you can actually choose to spin or not. So I think I think Dan, I can film one here, so probably going to have to leave you guys in the locker. But if I can film, I will. But. That's it. Play that video, okay? Okay, there wasn't actually like enough room for me with my party to go on there, so I decided like, eh, I'm here or there going on at the moment, so we're gonna, I'm skipping this ride. But saying that, I thought no reason not to show you guys the concept of it. And this is Tailspin, I believe. So it's a way for them all to be strapped up, and then I'll show you the kind of ride, okay? the event they've actually got a few pop-up stalls which is south of the border loaded nachos 
Greek street in town. And the last one is the Kawi Hut Express. You actually order at this little store here, and here's the menu. I'll quickly show it to you guys, okay? Okay, just a quick little look over it, but I've got to get back to my people who are in line before they get to the front of the queue and I can, so I can order, okay? Okay, quickly got my food. I went with the orange bun, beef burger, onion rings, cheese, bacon, and chips. And the person I'm here with went with the black bun. Exactly the same, exactly the same burger, nothing else different. I don't know, seems Halloween themed. My sister's actually ducked off to get a pretzel, so. <laughs> so, she'll be back in a second. I'll show it to you guys if she hasn't already eaten it, but she honestly would have. But, till then. Let's see how this goes. I'll give you guys a review when I finish, okay? Okay, so that's my sister's pretzel, and for some reason she chose to add sauerkraut to the top of it. But she's saying it's nice. Just finished my burger. Average sort of burger. Really nice, very filling. Very thick, very juicy burger. I loved it, but like I said, nothing overly different flavor wise. I'm about to quickly jump into a treat trail, but before I do that, there's got this limited edition, like, inflatable area. It's an additional charge, so I'm not sure if I'm actually gonna do it tonight. But I'll quickly go inside and show you guys a little bit of it, okay? So you've got a gift shop. Oh, you gotta focus. It's a gift shop over there. All this area here is kind of your inflatable course. Let's go down stairs and see if I can show it a bit better for you guys, okay? Things like that, but like I said, my people are all that I'm here with are already actually in line for a treat trail, so I gotta keep moving to catch up to them and do that. Let you guys know what sort of candy and treats we get from there, okay? Happy Halloween! Happy Halloween! So I had to keep my hands held in a weird direction, that's why you can't kind of see my card. I don't completely get the cards. It tells us where the candy is, but I'm getting a feeling that this is a... We can only do each treat trail once, so... That's weird. Okay, just got off with the Hot Wheels... Side wheeler? Side... Side something. Town of Fun is the former Cyclone ride. Enjoyed it. They've actually... Well, okay, I've got to pay attention because I'm walking up wet metal stairs. Can't see below me. Oh, that's not good. Yeah, that's pretty simple. So we've got to pay attention to that. <laughs> but they've changed the harnesses from when it was the cyclone to these like weird, like, I don't know, it's hard to explain. Like, you've got the basic over the shoulder ones, but there was like a chest one as well. Kind of liked it, really had some pressure to force you into the seat. So that was nice. So the lights are kind of all over the place because it's pitch black around here. And now we're about to walk down some more stairs. Look, just as sketchy. So I'm gonna put you guys away, and I'll chat to you when I figure out what the hell we're doing next to the bottom. Okay? Okay. We're gonna quickly ignore the overly copyrighted music for some reason, but just gonna put it also there. They've got the flow rider there, which I'll link down below to when I do the deep dive to what's called it, where the wild where they had one. But I'll also put a bit of the footage in there, to kind of show you guys what it's meant to look like when it's running. Okay? Okay. Food market, just another little eatery there. But we're going to keep moving past the claw and the former location to wipe out and head back towards the front of the park and see what other attractions, tree trails and everything else we can hit, okay? Alright, still moving, we got a little photo walk. Is our river, born of local rivers, the Pupilla and the Dugalumba, the local. Here's the train stations all decked out. Oh, it's got a nice little haunted train. We're going to go into this tunnel, try to find another treat location, as well as check out a couple more attractions. Just got off of Soaring, I mean, um, Sky Voyager because they're completely different rides, not exactly the same thing. Ooh, it's kind of cool, it's like a dark room. I don't know which rides going over the top. 
Okay, kind of foggy, but we're gonna keep moving. Um, it was a fun attraction. Uh, definitely a good attempt to copy soaring. Oh, found another train location, so we're running to that. Um, I don't know. I liked it. Would I do it again? I'm not sure, but hey, that was fun. Okay, now we finally found something really cool in the way of set pieces for this event. Try to find another tree location. We picked one up. I haven't really bothered filming them, but honestly, it's somewhat difficult to film the attraction, attractions, the um, tree trails because they're tiny, and as one person, you got like a bunch of cards. So I don't know. It's, Oh, and I'll give you a view of the whole event at the end once we finish it all, but to then, let's just keep going around and see what else we can find, okay? Looks like we're going to do another one of the coasters here. This one's like themed after motocross. Motocross? Yeah. I think. Maybe just... But, race. Either way, I'm again strong to you I'm not going to have a one here, so... I'll give you guys a good view at the end. So there's so many of these sort of like a view at the end sort of things, but unfortunately when I can't film on the rides, it's kind of what I'm left with doing. But we're kind of getting to the point here. I can kind of show you quickly the track, how it kind of breaks down. Two, one. Finished on that bike coaster sort of thing. Heading back up towards the front of the park, see what else we can find. We've only got about 30 minutes of this party left, and I don't know, my head's hurting kind of. Like, I've enjoyed the rides, but I don't know, it's just been a lot of shaking about, a lot of different wheezes. I don't know. Let's keep going, see what else we can find, okay? I'm gonna head down, try and get the last of the um, tree trails done before they ask us to leave this party. As I said, it's getting quite late towards the end of it. It's been fun, but that's it. I'll give my complete reviews and everything like that in a little bit, okay? Okay, I'm gonna be quick because this is actually copy. I mean, can I find out how bizarre it is that we've got Heffalumps and Woozles playing here? <laughs> See, it's weird. Still, it's a theme song to the Pooh Bear ride from the Disney parks. No idea why it's being played here. Just wanted to say that. Yeah, I checked before, but let's check again. I'm pretty sure these are real pumpkins. Yeah, they're feeling like real pumpkins, and this one here has actually been split open, so... Yeah, it seems all the pumpkins are kind of sitting around the park are most likely going to be real, which is kind of awesome. But saying that, I need to find a restroom, so let's keep moving and see what I can find. I'll show you guys what I see. All that fun goodness, okay? Okay, as I wait for some of the people I'm here with to actually get off an attraction, I kind of just thought I'd put out another thing I found interesting slash concerning about this event is the fact that it seems like there's no rules against full face masks and stuff like that.
Yeah, we'll come out and check it all out, because why not? But overall, I enjoy the show. That self, show, self. Um, got a bit of candy. It definitely seemed unusual, the whole card thing, and you like had to punch a hole so you can only go to each treat location once. I mean, I am comparing it to Disney's, which you should have seen by this point, where it is kind of unlimited amount of times you want to go to a treat trail, you kind of go to it. The sort of thing, um, but yeah, it's kind of like vague enough overview of the whole event sort of thing. Also, one of the interesting things is this park is one of the few places that actually has a Lego s dedicated store on the Gold Coast, I believe. I was saying that we've recently just had one open at the Lear Town Centre, so. That could not be as accurate as it used to be. Anyway, I'm gonna give you a quick little view. Same as most Lego stores, little cutouts, cutouts, buildings. Like colours, bricks for things, other little knickknacks. kind of brings us to the end of the night. Hope you guys have enjoyed everything you've seen. This has been a ton of fun, the first ever Halloween party. Please remember to like, subscribe, hit the bell, get notified next time I upload. Also, socials there like always. But until next time, I guess that's a wrap. See you guys.